Hey guys, what's up? Actually, I can't wait. I can't find an angle I like. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Let's just maybe up here. I also don't want you to see my room because it's pretty fucking messy right now. There, you can see my messy ass bed. Alright. Anyways, so I was gonna I was gonna smoke before this, but I'm sitting outside and I live next to um an Air Force base, right? And so planes, you know, come through all the time. But this one was like so fucking close. Like I have never seen one this close before. It was like a bigger plane too. Not like the little like four person, but like an actual plane. Um, again, not surprising they fly through, but it was so low. Like I could read the writing on the side of it and it was super faded. I mean, like it was just US Air Force Base, whatever. But it was like, I was shocked. It was, I should have got a picture of it. Oh my God, I have so much shit on this chair that I can't make it do what I want because I don't want to hang up my clothes okay anyways but I saw that and I was like you know what I'm just gonna I won't smoke right now I'll just go inside and do this and I don't even really have like a specific thing I got a couple of specific things actually but um anyways I hope you're having a good Mercury retrograde I've been having crazy dreams the last like four nights in a row now and I'll tell you a little bit about them um because they're like, I don't have like bad dreams very often. Um, I really have like nightmares, but like I would call these dreams like almost nightmares. They made me really uncomfortable and I woke up like really upset at a couple of them. So, but it was really weird because they were like also like not bittersweet, but there was like, there was a win and a loss. It was weird. So the first one, this was, you know, three or four nights ago. Um... Again, I'm not going to describe all of it, but basically I'm getting through this building. Uh, there's like a shit ton of people in the building. We're told that we have to get out of the building or something. And um, first, like this building's got to be like at least 10 stories tall. So we're all going down stairs and escalators. Some people aren't. They're just like still going up. And it's really, I'm like, you know, people aren't all going the same way. It's kind of weird. It's really crowded. But, and we don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I just know like, okay, well we're getting out of this building. It wasn't necessarily like a super like, oh my God, hurry, hurry, hurry kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I was just like kind of walking through and getting out of there. I get out and I'm with somebody. We get out and then I turn around and the building, now it's like two or three stories and like the walls are just windows and I could see people in there and it just collapses straight down. And I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? Like, it was so upsetting because I had just like watched these people like die basically. So I was like, okay, Cr upsetting. Again, I don't have like, you know, stuff like that super often. So I'm like, okay, whatever. It's a dream. You know, I'm kind of understanding what part of the meaning of the dream is. I think part of it was, um, cause I had this realization the other day that one of these lessons I'm supposed to be learning or whatever is that I can't save anyone. Nobody can save anyone. Only you could save yourself, right? That's really... I mean, of course, there's, you know, different things you need help, right? Whatever. But ultimately, like, I can't save anyone. And this person who was walking behind me, this was a person walking behind me. I felt like, I thought that they were telling me which way to go, but, like, they were still behind me, right? But they followed me. I didn't, like, pull them behind me. Um, it's, like, basically, you know, if somebody wants to, like, follow my lead or something, that's one thing. But, like, I'm not dragging anybody out, like... It's up to somebody if they want to be saved and even then they have to like make the choice themselves but yeah big lesson which i thought like i've thought about before but i really was sitting here i was like oh my god i was still like trying to do that i guess it's just like so ingrained and like so deep in my subconscious that i do it without realizing it and then i stopped i was like i think i'm still doing it or at least like even if not trying, like still having like the desire to do so, whatever. So that was the first dream. And then the second night, um, first I'm like at an amusement park and then there's this big creature there and it's like going to like, people didn't want it to go upside down on the coaster because then it would make it easier for this creature to grab them. I barely saw the creature. I'm assuming it was kind of human, like giant human, whatever, but I don't know. I didn't really see, but I was just like, not my prop. Again, not my prop. 
I was like, I'm just gonna go inside. I'm not gonna get, I'm not getting on a roller coaster when you know that there's a freaking giant right there trying to grab you, you fucking stupid. But there was that and then I go inside and basically I'm like in this, it's just like a dark hallway almost. Um, and it's like kind of rave. A rave is supposed to be going on, but there's like next to nobody there. Um, I think the setup of it, the layout of it was probably from a picture I've seen before online. I just kind of thought about that. Um, I can't like place it, but I'm just like, that was something that I've definitely seen online before. But, um, so I'm there and like, there's like, like the little, like, just like the one, two steps, just a little thing. And at first there was like something on the steps and then maybe like a cat or two. And then all of a sudden, like, it like transforms to like a bunch of bunnies, like a bunch of little black and white, not black and white, black and brown bunnies. Um, just a bunch of them. And I was like, stop, turn off the fucking music. Like, there's like all these bunnies. And I was, there. apparently one got underneath like a rug or somebody and somebody stepped on it. And then somebody said that they were taken to the emergency room. So like, it wasn't dead. But um, I like picked up one of them and I was like, this bunny's like super fucking distraught, like upset right now. And <laughs> I woke up crying because I'm in my dream. I was super upset about like, these bunnies were like traumatized by the lights and the sound and all of that. And I, that was the one I woke up crying from. I was like, what? Ooh, fuck. Um, and there's like, yeah, kind of thing. Cause like bunnies are supposed to represent like success and like joy and luck and stuff like that. And then with the building like collapsing, like, you know, with me getting out of that was good, right? But also I'm watching other people die. And then with these bunnies, one of them gets crushed and they're all traumatized. Um, I still haven't had a sip of this, I don't think. Okay. The night before. Fuck. What was that one? Oh. So, first I'm like on this. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna go with this. So, it was a flying dream. And I have flying dreams, like, not super often. But, um, my whole life I would have one here and there. And for the most part, I was like me having problems flying. Like I would try to do like jump to fly kind of thing or it was me trying to fly and I just like couldn't do it. But um, more recently within like the last year or two, I've been having flying dreams where like I'm like for real flying. And I feel like every time I have one, it gets better and better. Like the flight gets better. And um, like this one, I like had jumped down. You know, like I don't know if, if you played, uh, I think it's. No, it's not. It's a Skyward Sword, um, where Link has to jump down and, like, land on the bird. Um, so it was like that, like, I was looking down, like, as if I was playing the game, right? So I had to land on the bird, and I flew with the bird, right? And then I kind of, I don't really remember that flight as much, and then I ended up doing it again. And then I'm flying, and then I'm, like, I'm not flying on the bird. I'm flying just myself, like, cruising through the air, um... I'm like looking down you know above this river and it was really cool like I could feel I don't know like I don't know about you guys but I could feel certain sensations and dreams like and I could like feel the like wind under me and like like I could feel the space between me and the ground it was just it was so sick like like I said the flying they it gets better every time and I think it's like one of those things that it's just you need practice and basically I've been practicing um it sounds silly talking about dream, but it's essentially what it is. I'm like, I just get better and better. And so this flying dream was sick as fuck, right? It didn't last very long though, because I'm like, I'm flying. And then like, it gets cloudy, it starts raining. I was like, okay, I guess I gotta turn around and go back. And then like, Liney strikes in front of me. So I was like, nope, I'm gonna get down on the ground right now. And that wasn't like really scary, but I found that interesting. Because you know, flying is another like really positive dream symbol, you know? And... Then for like the lightning to strike in front of me so i'm mean like getting these things about like you know basically me succeeding at something but it being like cut whether it was cut short or like just not the right place or somebody else of us i don't not loving it right and then last night this one was a little longer and i really hated it um, I kind of forgot a little bit. No way. I got it. Okay. So I'm at my grandparents' house. It's not like her real house. It's just a house, um, with some family there. 
and I go to take a shower and then all of a sudden I'm like the bathroom it like isn't like it's just like the tub shower area just outside and then the curtain doesn't like cover all the way um, and I don't want to realize that initially because I don't know I just whatever um, I was inside there was a wall blocking it and all of a sudden there's no wall and I'm just exposed and I've had like dreams like this with the shower thing I also hate those but it's a thing about vulnerability in case you also have those kind of dreams um but vulnerability and it's like also I think of it as like being vulnerable about healing or like a new start or something but because water is like purification but anyways so there's that and then I see like these teenagers see me and I was like oh fuck and so I'm like trying to cover the you know move it around so like it's not where they can see me or something but it was too late and they came over and all of a sudden like the curtains like gone and I'm like trying to cover up and they're like fucking around with me and I'm like getting upset because they're like trying to like look at me and um I was freaking the fuck out I was like you know kind of yelling and I started I started screaming like bloody murder which again I don't like scream I don't really scream in real life and you know like you know how people play scream like I don't I don't think I've ever like really really scream, <laughs> screamed but um <coughs> so I'm doing that in a dream because they're not leaving me the fuck alone nobody comes to fucking help me mind you but you know I start screaming and so they leave and then they go out they go home and I guess they're all afraid of like their dad beating their ass and then I guess like the dad comes out and he was like you know apologize it was like okay I'm gonna make sure that like nobody watches you whatever uh nobody bothers you and at first I was like okay cool thanks and then I was like I realized I'm like no this freak is watching me now and it was like even more uncomfortable and I don't really know where it went but I ended up when I'm all done or I finally get out of there I go out to my family and they're basically like like what took you so long like you know we've been waiting for you to get ready like hurry up hurry up and get ready because we need to go I was like I was fucking just about getting attacked out there like nobody realized um so there's that and then also there's this other part in the dream where like it's coming to me right now so it's like I'm in a mall that's like closed after hours and like there's me and all these other people and we're in the mall like in a specific store I think we're just kind of like shopping or whatever stealing um I remember like putting on a couple of jackets and just kind of walking around with them and I like see my reflection like oh wow one of the jackets was sick one of them sucked but so there was that and then I don't know if like we were gonna get caught or something because then next thing I remember is like all of us being on like the the roof like kind of like a parking garage like the roof of a parking garage and I don't know how this happened but basically everybody up there died like they were killed or something and then it was like me and this one other person and basically only one of us could live and we're both like no I don't want to kill you um and I don't remember like if we both lived or but it was weird because like again like the violence right like all these people fucking murdered um I don't really remember seeing too much I remember seeing like you know like red blood but um that was weird oh and there was this other thing where like I don't know if it's wrong but I think I was like helping this lady I was trying to like help her with her blanket or something and all of a sudden she's got a baby and I'm like why the fuck am I helping you as if you can't help yourself and then you also have a child it was I don't really oh yeah it was something like the baby had like I accidentally gave it like a knife or something it was like I have this little key knife thing on my keychain just with, like a tiny little blade and it had that and took it away from it and then we realized that it had like a whole pocket the whole pocket knife I was like okay whatever I don't know but it was just like really weird for me to have like all these dreams in a row and they're all like good and bad I mean this last one was like definitely like more uncomfortable um and then like a little like I haven't really got the chance to analyze it quite as much the thing that but it seems like the theme is definitely like a little different 
I guess except for, you know, all the people dying and me being, like, one of the last people to live. And it's like, I get to live, but, like, at what cost? Like, all these people died and I might have to kill this other person. So, very weird. Um, I think their initials were, like, AJ, in case that's relevant to any of you, but. Interesting. So, I don't know if it's my favorite retrograde doing this, but just very weird, like, because I haven't really been, like, super um, into my dreams lately. Like, I'm normally, not normally, there are periods where I'm, like, really into, like, keeping in tune with my dreams and, like, writing them down so I don't forget them. And then sometimes I'm just, like, I don't remember anything that crazy, so whatever, I'm not going to think about it. And so now it's, like, four times in a row after not really dream. Well, I mean, I dream, but not really, like, focusing on it um, a whole lot recently. Four in a row, so... No, that was, that's fun. Can't wait till tonight. Uh, wonder who else is gonna die. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just so very interesting, right? Um, I don't know. I just felt like talking about it. What else happened today? Oh, oh, I fucking so I've been working my book, right? And I had been wanting to like print it all out before like I do anything because I want to like physically see it and it's I like kind of, I have it in order but I haven't really read it and also like I feel like I can't get the like feel of it on a computer so I'm like I need to print all this out and I need to like read physical copies and like feel that the flow is there basically so I finally got done enough that I could print everything out not done done I had a like, couple there were a couple pieces I need to add so that was another reason I had to print them out so I could see like where to put these things but I mean I'm sure like I'm gonna change the order maybe here and there but let me just because oh my god let me tell you though it was so fucking embarrassing because I went to Staples and there are other people there and so at first you know it's there's a little issue with the email like me sending it to them and it's like okay Mercury retrograde yeah but then, you know, the fact this guy has to, like, see parts of the document as he's printing it. He comes over to me and he's like, is the document titled da da da? I'm like, yeah. And then he, like, I told him, like, okay, well, um, he's like, do you want it double-sided? Because I told him, like, it's a, a massive document. He's like, oh, do you want to bind it like a book? And I was like, thank you, but no, because I need to move everything. But... That was cool though that they'll, do, that they'll do it. He's like, oh, do you want a whole punch? I was like, no, I wanted to cut it apart myself because I had him do two pages per one page basically. And then like single sided. Um, so it was like $30, which was about what I thought it was gonna be. But um, when I actually saw like the thickness of it, like I'm gonna show you right, right now, it's like twice as big as it will be because it's single page. But like when he put the stack down, I was like, this is how thick it's gonna look. Like, <laughs> and I was like, holy fucking God. But, I'm like, I guess if we do like half of that, that's still like decent, right? But I'm like, I got it here and I just have to, I have to fucking read it. And I've been going on and like adjusting font and I need to like edit it as well and again I think seeing it like on paper will make it easier to edit and all that <laughs> but I got it done I was wanting to have it done um before by the end of summer and it's not like done done but like I'm gonna do some editing and then just I'm making adjustments as I go on my computer and when I'm all done I think I'll just do like Amazon self so I don't fucking I really don't care I just want to have my own book I want to do it and I want to have a copy and it will be mine and I will have a book and it will be my book and I don't give a fuck because <laughs> at first I was like oh my god I do want you know this to be whatever like you know what actually at the end of the day I just want to write a book and I want to have it and whatever else happens fuck it but yeah so I'm pretty excited I finally have it all printed out so exciting guys well um so yeah there's that I'll just put this back in this spot here ah just something about i cut all these pages are all like fucking uneven 
But I could have definitely had that guy cut them all in half. But I was like, no, I will sit here and I won't cut them in half. I have control issues. Um, and also, I like, <laughs> when he showed me, like, oh, you know, does this look all, like, all okay? I'm like, please stop fucking showing the screen right now. Other people can see the screen. I'm gonna kill you and myself. <laughs> but, you know, he's just doing his job. I didn't say that. I was just like, yeah, yeah, it looks good. Please hurry up. I had to please hurry up eyes on. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was cool. Oh my god, and then the address was like 1010, so I'm like, wow, that's magical. And there was a Dollar Tree right next to it, so I got to go to the Dollar Tree afterwards. And I got what I get from Dollar Tree. I just like, I haven't been to the Dollar Tree so long, and had I known I was going to the Dollar Tree, I would have like been more prepared, but I wasn't. So I just bought some shit just because I could. You know, it's a dollar 25 now, at least in California. It's a dollar twenty-five tree. That's fucked up. I got these little guys. I don't know. I think I'll put. Ooh, I should put them in my plants. I will totally do that. But these little guys, right? Mostly. I got some batteries. Always get batteries when you're at the Dollar Tree, even if they're shit. Batteries are so expensive. I will take a dollar shitty batteries, even if they're gonna last a little bit, because. Sometimes it's as long as I need them for. I'm like, I just want to use something once and then never again for like another year. So, Dollar Tree batteries. I haven't, can't recall having a big issue with them. I feel like they last long enough. Batteries are batteries, right? Anyways, I also got these LED lights. They're like little maple leaves. This is why I got the batteries. And I got more batteries because I'm like, it's good to have batteries. Oh my god, and I got, I don't really wear lashes. I wore lashes the other day, um, but I saw these. And I was like, okay, first of all, may, I mainly bought them because I want the packaging. I want this little guy specifically. That's, oh, there's another one on the bag. I get two for one. Yeah, I'm, I buy shit for the fucking packaging and pay or whatever. But the band is like so thick on them. They're Dollar Tree lashes. Well, okay, you know what? They're a dollar. If I want to try wearing lashes, I might as well just like spend no more than a dollar. A hundred percent handmade. Wow. So I got a Dollar Tree lash, batteries, and got a green candle because I like these tall candles and green for abundance, right? So there we go. I don't really do any spell words, but I feel like just having a green candle and lighting it will, you know, the, it's attention. Intention matters. Oh, and then I got batteries. So yeah, that was my Dollar Tree haul. Very fun. Now I know where the doll. It's behind my work. I could walk over there after work. Now that's a problem. Now that I know there's a Dollar Tree right there. Problem. So there's that. Was there anything else I wanted to share? Let me read my diary. Not that part. Um. Oh my god, I've been having and like some of it. So okay, real quick. So like the numbers five and nine have been following me specifically a lot lately. Twenty four, it was twenty three, twenty five, and which is crazy because of what I'm about to talk about. Oh my god. Okay, so you saw it was twenty three, twenty four right there. I talk about five and nine. I'm like, okay, so five nine fifty nine is following me a lot, right? And then I'm like, you know, um, I'm pulling like temperance when I'm doing tarot a lot. And then I finally come to like this clicking in my head. I was like, oh my God, my, you know, so my aunt passed away like 20 years ago, right? Sagittarius. Her son was born on the 23rd and she was born on the 24th. So that was weird. That's why I was like, what the fuck? And um, so I just like kind of thought that I'm like, okay, you know, she's definitely, cause I'm getting, ugh, somebody is pestering me for sure. Somebody's been pestering me. And I realized I'm like, for sure it's her. But like with, cause I've been smoking cigarettes again. And it was funny yesterday, I'm on a walk, I'm smoking a cigarette and I see like a little piece of packaging for like the nicotine gum. It's like the ZYN or whatever, Zin. I was like, oh fuck. I just, it got in my head, I'm like, fuck. I'm being told to quit right now. I was like, well, let me smoke a couple others. And then on the side of my cigarette pack, it says, mind you, I like, haven't like ever really seen this and it's just like the one time I see it's like you know quitting smoking now greatly reduces serious risk to your health I was like I feel like I'm being threatened honestly so I'm done 
at least I'm telling myself at least for the rest of the year, right? And I find for me personally, it is easier to stop doing things if I tell myself I'm allowed to go back to them later. I can do like the full cold turkey shit. And that's the thing, I, I like I do go back to it later, but eventually one of these days I won't go back anymore. Maybe I won't, you know? But I'm not gonna, you know, whatever. So, tell myself that. But anyways, so, I smoked my last one today. I'm not buying anymore. Not to say, you know, if somebody were to offer me one, buy smoke menthol so it's, it could be, it makes it so much harder for me to just like, bum a cigarette from somebody, you know? Cause I won't smoke, not menthols. I have like once or twice, but I just, I really fucking rather not. I'd rather not smoke. But anyways, yeah. So there's that. And you know, um, whenever she died from cancer, not lung cancer, breast cancer, but I was like, you know, fucking fine. I'll listen. But um, I need to go to the doctors too anyway. <clears throat> and I haven't noticing it the last few days, so whatever. So yeah, all that, right? And like 5'9 follow me. And then I'm like listening to reading and they're talking about like, you know, oh, maybe it would be a good idea to like celebrate the birthday of like, you know, a past loved one or whatever. I was like, you know what, actually, I think that's a good idea, right? I would love to celebrate her birthday. Apparently this year it's on Thanksgiving, but um, I thought about it. I was like, oh wait, how old would she be turning today? 59. She's gonna be turning 59 this year. Um, fucking weird, right? So I was like, okay, well, I guess I have to celebrate her birthday, right? Yes. So I think I'll smoke a lot of weed on her behalf. Um, I always thought she smokes, I, I know she smoked cigarettes when I was a kid, but I brought it up to my mom. I was like, yeah, no, she, you know, I always, one thing I like about smoking, I'm like, I always saw her doing it. She looks so cool. My mom's like, she was smoking weed. I was, like, I was like, well, even better, but I know she smoked Marlboros, so don't eat it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so that was interesting. And I've been getting, like, down in the dumps a lot recently. Like, oh, my God, what else? What else fucking happened? So, okay. This was, today's been eventful. Um, so a while ago, I canceled my Sprint bill, right? And they, like, charged me again. I was like, um, I'm not paying this because I'm done. And I was done before I got my bill. So, fuck you guys. So I never <laughs> never paid it and then once in a while i would get something like oh you need to pay this i'm like fuck you when the debt collectors come after me i'll pay it then <laughs> and they did i'm listening to i'm listening to reading like i i listen to readings like podcasts you know like i take everything with my grains, you know whatever i just i enjoy listening to these uh the people i like i like listening to them talk so i do but i'm listening to it and then she says something about like you know so so you know this thing will contact you and i don't think this thing was necessarily like of the same concept she was talking about but as soon as she said that my phone starts ringing and i'm like doing the dishes and like i have headphones and so i was like <laughs> it scared me i was like what the fuck and i never answer my phone i like even if i know what number i'm like i i hate it um eventually there's things that i haven't done because i do not answer the phone but i'm looking at the number i'm like i don't know what this is it's like 844. Um, I have like a couple ideas what it might be. It was not what I thought it was. I'll tell you that. But I'm looking at it. And again, like I tell you, I never fucking answer the phone. But I'm looking at it. I was like, I feel like I should answer this. So I answer it. And it's a debt collector. And at first he's like, this is so-and-so from this thing. Is this Catherine? And I'm like, who are who is this? Because I didn't recognize it. And he's like, is this Catherine? I was like, yes. Who are you? And then he says, he tells me what it is that he's from. I was like, oh, well, and he tells me exactly, I'm here for your sprint bill. It's exactly 115. I was very happy to hear that I did not have any like interest, which I didn't think it was on credit, but it stayed at even 115. And it's like, I don't like just have the money, but like I, I have the money technically. It's supposed to go towards other things, but I was like, I can pay this. I was like, fine let me get my card i just like accepted it i just went with it at first i was like um i didn't think i was supposed to be paying this even though i knew there's a possibility i mean like obviously i had to build like whatever i tried to do that he's like well here's the reason it's because this this and this i was like fine and so i pay my bill right but 
I'm like, I'm like, okay, well, it's cool though. I don't have to worry about that coming around in the future. And at first I was like, this is so fucking stupid. But then I stopped. I was like, you know what? It's a blessing that I was able to do that payment immediately. No problem, right? I mean, it'll be a little, although we might be getting stimulus checks next month. So that'll be nice. I could really use that after that. Um, but yeah. So I'm like, okay, no. Ultimately, grateful that I was able to do that. I don't have to worry about it anymore. That it was not any higher than I thought it was going to be. It worked out great. Just, yeah. So. I mean, I was like, the one time I fucking answered the phone. I knew I had to do it then. If I didn't do it then, they probably were going to, like, fucking serve me or whatever. So. It was probably, like, the last minute thing. Like, with my smoking, right? Like, I felt like it was like, ooh, final stop now. I'm going to get sick or some shit. It's probably the same thing. I was like, ooh, last minute, like. So it's like the time. It's like the shit you gotta do now. Like this is like the last moment, like before it's too late, right? I'm like, thank God I had my, you know, a chance to do something before it's too late. Because I think the numbers called me before. Like if I were to look at like, I see 844. Because I'm like, I've seen 844 before. I just thought it was something else. And now I'm like, oh, that's what it was. So yeah, that was probably like my last time. So good thing I paid it, right? But um, yeah, interesting moment. I'm having an interesting uh, Virgo season. Um, It's almost Libra season. I just can't wait. Oh my God, it finally, like it rained. It rained here. Um, We got done with the heat wave and went down. We had rain. It's like been cloudy and like fall-like weather. I mean, fall-like weather for here. And then it got, it's getting hot. It's gonna get hot again. Why is it? Be like 96 in a couple days i'm pissed i'm ready for fall right but yeah oh my god it's almost sleeper season though guys are y'all excited i know something's gonna happen this scorpio season i can't wait i've been like knowing since gemini season I'm like i had a dream and i was like okay well let me just mark these seasons in my head and like the things that like have been coming up they all like end up being true like what was it there are certain things what the fuck was it i feel like i had i i think i like i have visions of things right and before i would think i would just like have a flash or whatever and i wouldn't think much of it but i've started like writing down when i think when i think i'm having a vision right when i get like a picture in my head I'm like i think this might be something let me just write it down and I don't remember what it was, but there was something that like, it happened. And I was like, that's exactly like the fucking vision I had. It was, oh, uh, I wish I could know what it was, but it was funny. It was great. So I have to write those down all the time now, just in case they are important, but it's very, I think my psychic abilities are like developing <laughs> but i'm having a great time i was actually having a really bad time the other day but we're putting in the work putting in the work um yeah i think that's all i'm gonna say right now but yeah i'm like this is something i want to keep doing like posting on this video is so much longer than whatever I attended but I guess I just felt like talking so I'm gonna post it um I guess it's like my own little podcast right fun hopefully somebody likes listening to me talk about nothing and everything at the same time yeah that'll be it for now oh yeah I was saying like I want to post more videos, but it seems like one of those things that, like, I just need to do when I feel like doing it. Like, I feel like I'm not supposed to try to do it because then it may come off as, like, inauthentic or, like, I don't know, too methodical or something like that. Even though, even if I'm trying to be methodical, it's not gonna, I feel like it doesn't really come off that way because I only, I half-ass it. I half-ass it still. Oh, my God. I think I know why. It's because I'm not 
I need to just go with my feeling, right? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll be done for real now. I hope you guys have a good night. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Don't know when that'll be, but I'll see you then. Bye.